Welcome, dear ones, on this uh, Good Friday as we wind down in Holy Week um, to this most sacred day of remembrance. Let's enter into God's presence. Dear Lord, as I come to you today, fill my heart, my whole being, with the wonder of your presence. Help me remain receptive to you as I put aside cares of this world. Fill my mind with your peace. I exist in a web of relationships, links to nature and people and to you, O God. I trace out these links, giving thanks for the life that flows through them. Some links are twisted or broken. And over those I feel regret or anger or even disappointment. So in this time I pray for the gift of acceptance and forgiveness. Oh God, you speak to me in so many ways. Through things I see and things I hear. Through words on a page and words from the mouths of friends and strangers. May today I respond to your call. Teach me to recognize your hand at work in my daily life. I thank you for these moments that we have to spend together and for any insights that you might give me as I make my prayer in the name of the one who is and who was and who is to come, even Jesus the Christ. So um, we go to our text and I've taken the um, bold move today, uh, even on this Good Friday, of choosing a text other than a scripture text, uh, because I, I find um, the emotion of this day um, wrapped somehow in, in these words. So our um, text for today is a poem by Mary Oliver. It's called The Poet with His Face in His Hands. And um, I am going to read it through twice so that we might think about it. And um, as we think about it, find a word that we can bring into our silence and listen for uh, what uh, phrase might be our text for today. We'll have time to write those things down, as you already know. So our text for today, the poet with his face in his hands. You want to cry aloud for your mistakes. But to tell the truth, the world doesn't need any more of that sound. So if you're going to do it and can't stop yourself, if your pretty mouth can't hold it in, at least go by yourself across the 40 fields and the 40 dark inclines of rocks and water to the place where the falls are flinging out their white sheets like crazy. And there's a cave behind all that jubilation and water fun. And you can stand there under it and roar all you want and nothing will be disturbed. You can drip with despair all afternoon and still on a green branch its wings just lightly touched by the passing foil of the water the thrush puffing out its spotted breast will sing of the perfect stone hard beauty of everything. Let me read this once more for us. And this time I'm gonna call it the poet with her face in her hands. You want to cry aloud for your mistakes, 
but to tell the truth, the world doesn't need any more of that sound. So if you're going to do it and can't stop yourself, if your pretty mouth can't hold it in, at least go by yourself across the 40 fields and the 40 dark inclines of rocks and water to the place where the falls are flinging out their white sheets like crazy. And there is a cave behind all that jubilation and water fun. And you can stand there under it and roar all you want and nothing will be disturbed. You can drip with despair all afternoon and still on a green branch, its wings just lightly touched by the passing foil of the water, the thrush puffing out its spotted breast will sing of the perfect stone hard beauty of everything. So um, we choose our word to take with us into our silence. And, um, and well, and that's all that needs to be said. <laughs> um, I always want to do the spirit's work um, for her and uh, lead you someplace, but it's perhaps just where I'm being led and not you. So um, I hope you've chosen your word and um, I hope you have thoughts to take with you into our time of meditation. So let's, without further ado, just go there.
So what is it that you found on this Good Friday in our reading? Um, what is the phrase that uh, captured you, caught your attention, surprised you? Um, be sure to write that down in your journal um, so that you have it upon further reflection. Um, and so we're at that time again uh, for our creative embodiment, um, where we'll use that other part of our brain to um, draw or write or create something. And as we have become accustomed, I'm going to just ask you to uh, pause this and um, do your creative work. And when you're ready, come back and uh, we'll finish our time together. So, see you in a few minutes. Okay, um, let me share where I went. Um, with our poem, which was our sacred reading for today, um, I found uh, the juxtaposition of Christ, uh, his work on the cross, and this idea of uh, stone hard beauty. Um, I, I just found that so very compelling. So. Um, Here's my creative piece. Here it comes. And I just wrote uh, the phrase from the poem, the stone hard beauty of everything and a little pile of rocks um, that can bring me, looking at this just brings me right back to the poem and um, and her description of, you know, really um, wanting to scream and going to find a place to do that. And, uh, and yet um, the thrush is still singing in the tree. And isn't that what the work of Christ was about? Um, all of creation um, still has its place and there is still beauty because of what he did. So um, that's my piece. Um, for today in this reading on uh, this Good Friday. But we still have our, uh, our actionable piece. So what is it that you would like to uh, give or offer today? Or what is it that you will fast from or refrain from today? Um, this is um, e easier for me uh, because I have a practice and that that's been part of my life for a very long time and um, I use Good Friday as a day of fasting and um, and I will do that today um, I can't imagine that they were um, coming around with uh, breakfast and lunch trays for Jesus um, or that he had any sustenance other than what the soldier gave him on a sponge on the cross. So I have always felt that um, any identification, little, tiny as it may be, uh, fasting that I can do um, um, just helps me to identify with um, the happenings of this day. So that's what I'm going to do. So um, please do write down what your uh, gift or offering is, what your fasting or your refraining is. Um, so that we keep this nice little package of our journal with all of our pieces in it um, together. And uh, may you go out and have a thoughtful day and a thoughtful experience in whatever you do. There's all kinds of ways to live this day. And so uh, choose the one that fits right and feels right for you. And God bless you. See you Sunday.